Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 16 of Green Project. You might ask what I'm doing on the top of the hill over here. As you can see, actually I'm currently like walking on the hill. So I'm gonna show you there's a trick but I believe that trick was working fine in the lower updates now with the newest of the 1.3.4 might not work so if you guys could try you could do it see if this is gonna work for you but I believe uh, game developer he fixed that as you can see there's like one line of sand and there's no green grass but take a look at this I was a, uh, that was, a, I guess, previous glitch from the previous updates and I can show you that's the, I can access, actually I can have access to the mountains, to the hills over here and also over there. But I believe the newest update, you cannot, uh, the green grass is not going to grow on the mountains, I mean on the hills. I believe I didn't check it out so if you guys want it if you feel this is like some kind of nice decent event just to walk on the, mo on the hills and actually you can walk I don't know I didn't go but you, you can oh, no actually no but you can walk all the way to that part of the hill and you just can walk all the way down I don't know how long but uh, I don't want a game to crash or crap or uh, corrupt my save file, so I'm gonna just leave it alone. Anyway, that's enough of that. Okay, I would like to show you guys a few things, but before we're gonna do this, uh, I'm just gonna put some. I got extra spare bees in my beehive. As you can see, there's a 42, so if I put extra, I have 46. So let me just grab four more, which of course I already started doing this. As you can see, there's a flower tree. That's called a flower tree, not flower bush. And as you can see, I chop, chop or harvest all the purples and blue ones. I just leave the yellow ones and look how many yellows now I got. So I just need the four yellows, which is the four bees. I should have it, yeah, four bees. And let's put that in a beehive and this beehive should be working fine. So that will be my third beehive. There we go. And now it's working. I'm just gonna grab this stuff. And this beehive is releasing the bees. Uh, also, I never tried to eat the Hana. As you can see, it's got 80 points of food, which is awesome. And the most important thing is not gonna decay. So you can, uh, well you i mean you that kind of food also will with the jars would be a really good addition and let's see if i'm gonna eat a little bit of the honey and see how that's gonna look like okay so there's a leftovers okay so this is like the leftover awesome all right the first thing I'd like to show you, share with you guys, is to, well, feed. I'm not gonna feed the squares, but I'm gonna show you what the uh, what the squares can eat. Maybe they can eat more stuff, but let me just show you something. Okay, so first thing, yeah, I'm gonna leave. See, they can eat all the seeds. If I drop all the seeds. Did I drop it? Oh no, this is how you drop the seeds. Look at this. Come on, square. They're gonna eat every type of seed on the map. So if you if you're gonna leave some seeds, definitely they're gonna be eaten by, by the squares. So they're gonna eat all of them. 
the one more seed. Uh, they should also eat this one if they're gonna get close to it. There you go. So that's one thing. Now, as you can see, we have also ants. And guess what? What the ants gonna eat? Yes, the ants gonna eat the lag. I hope they're gonna eat. Uh, not every time like the ants are hungry, but. And hold it. What that just happened? That was unexpected. <laughs> uh, but uh, what I know, they eat the lags. Okay, I found some ants. So let's see. Let's feed them with the lags. See if they're gonna eat it. Mm, no. Not this time. It doesn't seem like they wanna eat. Let's try again. No, oh, they just, just change the direction. Let's try with another type of ants. Seems they circle, maybe they're looking for the food. Yep. There we go. So as you can see they eat the lugs. I try to leave uh, branches but I don't think so they're gonna eat that. What I know so far they eat the lugs. And the squirrels of course they eat all the seeds. What that means let's say if you chop the tree like let's say for example this one Don't leave that stuff, like if you need the lags and seeds, just grab it right away. Don't leave it. Because if you're gonna leave it, they're most likely gonna be eaten by the ants. I mean, lags gonna be eaten by the ants, and the seeds gonna be eaten by the squirrels, or they just disappear. So my advice is to just grab it if you need, if you need them. If you don't need them, that's fine. You don't have to, but that's what the game does. Also, as you can see, I reached more than 1000 points of the green factor, which is cool. Of course, there's no more purple mushrooms. And my purple bubbles is zero. I forgot one more thing. The caterpillars, which is these little green guys, they were gonna eat tall green grass and the tall green grass once they eaten by the caterpillars will turn to short dry grass like this one. Alright, I will continue on my big project. It's not done yet. It's still under construction, but in the meantime I'm gonna build more beehives and collect more bees. Because I will probably gonna switch to new source of food, which is gonna be honey. I'm gonna dump the jar, all the jars. Not like I don't have enough food, because actually I have whole storage of food in the jars, plenty of food. So by the time I'm gonna run out, run out of the jars, I will have plenty of honey. That's my hope. All right. Thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time, bye bye, take care.